right, we still got thunderstorms rolling. Got a line of them here that have been popping up all afternoon. It's supposed to clear about now. Could fish me in time to get out to where I'm looking to spend the night, but I'm loading up the boat while it's raining and the thunder and lightning's falling. So, hell of a start here. We'll see how it goes. Hey guys, my name's Ziggy, and I'm out boat camping the barrier islands of the Gulf of Mexico. So jump aboard, because I'm going to take you bastards sailing. Storms have passed. They're still, they're still piling up over here, and that's the direction we're going, so hopefully it'll pass by the time we get there. Well, uh, we'll know shortly. I'm going to around this corner, hopefully get some speed. It's going to be about dark when I get in there, I think. But, uh... We'll give it a good shot here. If we make it, we make it. If we don't, we'll do it. See the weather up there. Pretty good thunderhead. Should pass inland by the time we get up there. That's the plan, anyway. I won't be there when we get there. Okay, there's no more for me to off the golf. That's the roll of the day. We'll see. here in the daylight before I, well, at least once before I get in there at night. There's a lot of crazy currents and ugly stuff. A little tricky getting in. But we'll hold the course. We're here saying 8 o'clock now just to the curb and then be another half hour past that. That's getting dark. But maybe the wind will pick up and cut that back by half hour. And then we're golden, so we're just going to keep on pushing here. Storm is slowly work, working over. Ah, I'm getting bored. Time to get out the uh, beach or two weeks old, but I think. ICW swings off here to the left to give us a better angle to the wind and I'm hoping we'll gain some speed there. Probably one of Mike Singleton's buddies.
the lightning right there the whole bank of it here hopefully it bypasses me I got the tent up got the front porch light on it's beautiful out here nice sunset right there's the Gulf of Mexico a few fishermen on the other side there of the river I wanted to do a time lapse of the setup but I had to hurry between mosquitoes and darkness and I still got to do a little work here and then the uh, campfire and beer, here we go. It was a beautiful day, right from my dock at the cabin. It was like a four hour, maybe a little over four hours of light air sail. I was going between four and six miles an hour most of the day. A little less, quite a bit, but never broke out of the sixes. It was a great little beach. Ran aground coming in, got a lot of the channel. Hopefully I do better on the way out. Beautiful. There's some guys out here gigging flounder, I'm assuming they do them walking around with their, their little spears. They're having fun and fishermen walking around doing all this stuff. Good lightning show over here. Just a few miles over. It's kind of wandering this way, but I think I'll be good. Other than that, it's a beautiful campfire. I haven't made my bed yet. My tent's up, it's all rocking. I've done dinner yet either. A few beers at the fire. I got a few more pieces of wood left and I'll get in and I'll skeeter pipe. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> and I'll get in the tent, make some dinner, and close it up. There's a handful of mosquitoes in there. I'm going to have to fire up some light in there and knock out some mosquitoes. Get into some dry clothes for the night to sleep and in the morning. Get out of here and enjoy this for a little bit. It's just nice about make not too far out. Is uh a little big rush in the morning, so I get out and kind of enjoy this beach here for a minute and have a little fun. It's a good sail today. We'll see you in the morning in the morning. Alright, so it was a good campfire. Mosquitoes were ruthless. Like half a can of Repel, the pump kind, you can just like take a shower in it. So, <laughs> I used, you know, I used a lot of it, half a can. The uh, mosquitoes there, I just found I just sent it sitting right, right in the campfire smoke. Usually the stuff you run from, I was sitting in it. I'm going to breathe in my shirt now and then. But uh, they were just ruthless. I, it's crazy. And the tent here, I had at least 100 mosquitoes in here. And I just started, they were all getting at the top mostly. I just started wiping them out once I got in here. And got them down to, I don't see any more now. I think I got them all. A couple of them are pretty bloody, in my blood. But, uh, so I'm in, I got settled in, got some dry clothes on. Beautiful night. I had a big old crane come up and try and land on top of the mast. It was huge. He saw my little Windex weather vane up there and he changed his mind. That was crazy. A couple guys came over flounder fishing, the spear, and we talked to them for a minute. It was cool, some local guys. Now it's, uh, it's like midnight. I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm getting ready. To, not that hungry, but I'm going to go ahead and fire up some. Uh, what am I firing up? It's not biscuits and gravy, that's the morning. I believe I got lasagna. Aha, uh -huh. it's like my favorite dinner out of this thing. Lasagna. So we're getting ready to fire up lasagna. It's a great sale here. I left it four. 
Got here a little after 7.30. Closing on 8. By the time I wiggled through all the shallows here, got the, the sun was just setting as I was putting the tent up. That worked out great. Fire, I'm glad I brought some fire with. There's a lot of wood on the beach here. I don't know how much. You'd have to get here in daylight to scrounge, but I think there's some wood on the beach could have done, but uh, what a beautiful, beautiful evening. Lightning show going. It sprinkled for a second when that front came across. I pushed the boat around. The tide's gone down about a foot since I've been here, so hopefully I'll get out of here okay, because I did bump bottom coming in a few times. But uh, I don't know if the tide will be back by the time I'm leaving or what. But, uh, you know, I can walk it around to the deeper water if I got to. So other than that, it's rocking. I'll be back, mosquitoes and all. Mosquitoes are ruthless. Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever seen worse mosquitoes. But... Uh, the tent's working great. <clears throat> the other tent, I didn't have room. I'd sit on this side and it would, I'd have to lean over for the tent and then it only came out to about here and the buckets would take, a, take up all the space. This bigger tent with these new platforms, I got room to stretch out. I can, have room, I can sit in here and enjoy myself with bad weather or something. <coughs> I was cramped up in the other systems. I haven't laid out my bed yet. I forgot to let myself dry off. I can put the mosquitoes out of there, make some dinner. The floor was wet. I dried it off in front of my shirt, my dirty shirt, so it's all kicking. And uh, life is good. I'm going to start there. Huh. That's the outside of the screen. Good morning. Got a couple hours in. The low tide was going out when I went to sleep. I woke up though. High tide's up, it's not high tide for a couple more hours. You can see my little island is about to disappear. So I gotta break camp and get this going. Well, I still got a little sand to stand on. I'll be back. Tide dropped last night. I was worried about low water. I checked it last night, saw that high tide's 11.30. It's about eight right now. I woke up to see my little island just a few inches from here, nothing here. The only thing between me and the Gulf of Mexico is this little bit of sand. So I tore it all down. Hope to hang out a little longer. We're getting ready to rock and roll, and we're getting ready to pull out of here and head her home. Feeding fish were bumping into my boat, and it kept me up over the night quite a bit. But about 5 a.m., the whole tent exploded in light. It was my cell phone telling me that I had a message request coming in from Spain. I was going to leave it until I woke up, but then I knew it would just bug me, so I went ahead and accepted the message. So laying there in the dark at the bottom of my boat in the middle of nowhere, this is what I got. Hello Ziggy. Hello, greetings from Spain. It was one of my subscribers from Spain, Marcel, wanting to talk boats with me, showing me the boat he's building and asking questions. And uh, we video chatted uh, face to face for like a half an hour before I let him go. And we've contacted each other since then on this project. It was pretty interesting to think the technology of me in the middle of nowhere laying in that boat talking video face to face with someone in Spain live it just boggles the brain. We are back to the back. I'm whipped. It's been a good trip. Crazy. Didn't get much sleep last night. So, time to go cool out and rest up right there. Maybe even get a nap in put this baby on the trailer for the Texas 200 in a week. You'll be there. Like and subscribe because I'm going to take you bastards.